I have 100 live housefly pupae in this container, and I'm gonna give 50 of them to Team Venus and 50 to Team Nepenthes. Once they hatch, the first team to eat all the flies is the winner. 50 houseflies in each box. Who's gonna eat them first? I'm putting my money on Venus. I think uh, these ones are going to first. See, I'm split because I feel like the Venus fly traps, they're gonna catch them easier, but they have to stay close to digest them. Whereas those ones, it doesn't matter how many are in it. Full disclosure, I did have my daughter dress up as a Venus fly trap and my wife and I were flies a few years ago. So um, I might be a little bit biased toward the fly traps. Fly traps can only capture one bug at a time. Once the trap shuts, it can take 12 to 24 hours to open back up. So that could set them at a serious disadvantage. But Team Venus has way more traps than Nepenthes have pitchers. Plus, flies are the Venus fly traps bug of choice. On the Nepenthes side, there isn't a hard limit to the number of bugs they can catch in their pitchers. Plus, they're always open for business but they tend to catch more crawling bugs than the flying ones. After all, the bug has to climb down into the pitcher, whereas with the fly trap, they just have to land. Let me introduce you to the teams. On Team Venus, we have the King Henry fly trap, we have the Dente, we have the Akai Ryu, also known as the Red Dragon, and finally, we have the Mammoth. On Team Nepenthes, we have the Miranda, we have the Saint Gaia, the Lady Luck, and last but not least, the Alana. So to keep the plants from wobbling around in the box, I'm gonna put a layer of soil that they can get nestled in so they stay in place. The Nepenthes get a bigger box because they need room to spread their pitchers out. And the whole time they're in here, they're gonna receive nothing but reverse osmosis water. So quick update, the flies that I bought online, they hatched in the mail and then they died. So I went to a local reptile store here in Lakeland Rep, uh, family reptiles, and they sold me these black soldier flies. So now I'm just going through the process of separating them. I split them up. These are the little tiny baby larvae. These are the large larvae. These are the husks that will become flies imminently. And they told me at the reptile store that these things will start to vibrate and then the fly will kind of shake its way out and get out. I kind of think of it like the Dark Knight after Batman wrecks the Batmobile. And then as everybody's standing around watching it and it starts shaking and then he shoots out with his little motorcycle. Think of it like that. That's what's going to pop out of the... I'm putting a little bit of carrot in there. They need something to eat so they can develop into flies. We're going to do 25 baby larvae in each box. 20 large larvae. And then each of them are going to get five husks that are going to become flies in it. One, one. Let's take a quick aerial view of these so we can count up how many fly traps they are working with and how many pitchers these Nepenthes have. All right, all that's left to do, let's close them up, plug the hole. We don't want any flies escaping. I'm gonna put them in our time lapse box. Now, this is just, uh, this is not a grow light. This is a fluorescent light, but in my experience, I've grown a lot of carnivorous plants inside these boxes, some of the best ones I've ever grown. All right, so I haven't seen any movement in a while. It's possible all the flies hatched and they got eaten. Let's open up the boxes to see what we can find out. Oh, we have some movers. Get a look in there. They all went under the pots. So the movement went underground. I'm gonna put them back in. We're gonna keep the time lots going. I did break one, uh, but take a look inside. Got one. Let's dissect this guy. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of our black soldier flies. You can tell it's longer and not as fat as a regular fly. This could be the guy that was flying around for so many days, and then the temptation got the best of him. One eternity later. All right, let's take them out, see how they did. I'm not sure that I'm prepared for the amount of hate I'm gonna get in the comments from Nepenthes and Flytrap lovers, but I'm gonna dissect these and see who the true winner is. All right, so we have a couple that reopened after gobbling up the fly. That guy reopened, he got a big black soldier fly. This one 
as one's still in there and there are a few closed traps so we're gonna have to open up and get some proof we're gonna start with the Miranda pitchers oh my goodness we had some larva climb up in there we had it's like we have three Definitely some juices. I can see some remains of larva in there. Let's call that one two. This one really grew a lot in the box. That one looks clean as can be. I don't think that one ate anything. You see the digestive juices, but no sign of bugs. Oh, this one got larva. I think we have a winning pitcher right here. This one got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven larvae. They're still alive, crawling down in there. They may live to fight another day because I opened it up. One, two. So it looks like the Alada is by far the best consumer of bugs. We have, let's see, two in that one, two in that one, five in that one. So the Alada got a total of nine bugs, mostly larvae. We don't see any flies inside it. The um, Miranda got five. The Lady Luck got zero. Uh, I think Lady got, Luck got one. And the St. Guy, I got zero. So um, if you're looking for who's going to eat the most crawling bugs, it looks like the Alada is the winner. Now with the fly traps, I'm only going to cut them open if they're closed. And I want to confirm that there's a bug in there. So I'll take him. So the King Henry got a total of two flies no larva just flies oh we got something yep so the dente got one fly so this is undoubtedly the biggest trap from the whole experiment let's open him up and see what secrets are inside no bugs so in conclusion if you're looking for who's going to catch the most flies it's gonna be the fly traps. But if you wanna know who's gonna catch the most bugs, it's gonna be the Nepenthes. I think they only ever caught one mature fly, but they caught a whole lot of crawling larva. Um, had to have been a lot of work for those larva to get up there. Uh, but I think that's the conclusion of the experiment. Um, there's not necessarily one that's better than the other. It's all about what kind of bug you're trying to catch. And if there's anything else we learn, it's that black soldier fly pupae take a lot longer to molt and hatch as uh, regular houseflies.